What's going on guys, your boy Boxing Facts or Fiction. I need you to do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon for more videos like this. Manny Pacquiao versus Adrian Broner. Pay-per-view at the MGM Graham in Las Vegas was a beautiful fight to watch based on the fact it was two high skill level fighters fighting pay-per-view in front of millions of fans and only one of them showed up. Manny Pacquiao at the age of 40 looked brilliant, man. Manny Pacquiao looked brilliant. He went in there from the first round, established his jab. He started going to the body early to slow Broner down. That was the game plan. I remember watching the interview with Freddie Roach, and Freddie Roach was saying Manny Pacquiao was going to come out fast. I didn't really believe it, but Manny Pacquiao came out like he got shot out of the cannon. Manny Pacquiao was throwing some of the most beautiful right hands and left hands I've ever seen. He was throwing combinations we're used to seeing the old. Manny Pacquiao was just dominating the younger Adrian Broner, who was 29 years old. Manny Pacquiao, 40 years old, 11 year, years the elder. I mean, the guy looked like, like I said, the guy looked like they shot him out of a cannon. I mean, Manny Pacquiao, looked, he fought the perfect fight. Manny Pacquiao pretty much fought the perfect fight. This was a one-sided beatdown. Uh, Adrian Broner got embarrassed in front of his fans. Um, <laughs> Adrian... <laughs> Guys, I'm laughing because Adrian Broner said some funny shit before this fight. I mean, we've seen this countless of times. You guys can go back and watch my old videos. Matter of fact, I'm going to leave my link in the description section where you can go back and watch it yourself. I told you guys, Adrian Broner, I told you I'm going to tell you guys the truth. Adrian Broner was going to get beat up, outclassed, dominated in this fight. I told you guys, you guys wasn't believing me. I told you, Adrian Broner don't let, it, let his hands go. He was going to lose this fight. I told you guys it was going to be an easy one-sided fight. You said, no, no, no. It's going to be a close fight. You guys was arguing with me. Some of you guys was like, don't go against the... Some of you guys was like, don't go against the brother. Don't go against the black guy. I'm like, come on, man. I'm just telling you boxing. You understand? It's not about race. It's about boxing. I know who's going to win and who's going to lose. Uh, Manny Pacquiao, I told you guys this was going to be a one-sided domination. Either a late round TKO or a United. You know, what we watched tonight was a 40 year old man still look like he still has a lot in the tank and a lot to prove and we watch a 29 year old guy who was a four division world champion just gonna give the fans what they want to see i mean he's gonna be relevant because of his name but he just can't give us what we want to see he just can't give us the big one that we're accustomed to seeing he just can't do that Adrian Broner just can't win at the highest level, man. Every time he step up in competition, he loses. Every time he step up in competition, he loses, man. I mean, the Mike Garcia fight, I picked him to lose. The Jesse Vargas fight, I picked him to lose. I mean, the guy is just known for throwing these one shots. These, these one twos, one two threes. Like, what? What, what happened to the eight punch combinations? It's like Showtime is setting Adrian Broner up on purpose. Adrian Broner, but the, let me go back to what I was saying about what he was saying. Adrian Broner had the nerve to say he's fighting for the hood. Fighting for what hood, my boy? You was fighting for yourself, man. Man, if you guys see Adrian Broner before this fight, Adrian Broner was iced out. He was already spending his, he was spending all the money in his bank account because he know he's about to get the payday of his life. Adrian Broner didn't go into this fight focus. Adrian Broner did not go into this fight focus. I mean, Adrian Broner was, was clowning around while Manny Pacquiao was overseas training. Adrian Broner was clowning around on Instagram. Um, 50 Cent was clowning Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner looked fat for this camp. Yeah, he lost the weight, but he didn't look like the cut up Adrian Broner we used to seeing. He didn't look like, how you always say, cut like a bag of dope. Adrian Broner, he looked sloppier in this fight than he did in the any he, he looked sloppier in this fight than he did in the Mikey Garcia fight. This was a more clear victory by Manny Pacquiao, 40 year old man, than a Mikey Garcia fight. Adrian Broner just got beat up, man. It was a one shot at beat down. Hats off to Manny Pacquiao, even at 40 years old. He still shows us that he has a lot in the tank and a lot left to go. And congrats to Manny. 
Guys, we just gotta face the fact that Adrian Broner doesn't win at the highest level. Yes, we all love Adrian Broner because of his antics. We love Adrian Broner because of the way he talks that shit. He talks his shit. He talks a whole lot of shit. The guy's entertainment at the highest level. But we gotta separate that that talk from from skills, from from freaking talent, from heart, from will, from grit, from wanting to win the fight. I'm telling you guys now, we gotta separate that and pick a fight according to who you know is gonna win. We knew Manny Pacquiao was gonna win because he's a volume puncher. We knew Adrian Broner was gonna lose because he waits. He's a counter puncher. He waits to throw punches, and he's not the best counter puncher in the world. Yes, he countered Manny Pacquiao with some good straight right hands, but it wasn't enough. Manny Pacquiao has a nice chin too. Manny Pacquiao only got caught one time clean, clean by Marquez. But at the end of the day. I told you guys, I told you guys, Adrian Broner was going to lose this fight. I told you guys, it's going to be a dominating performance by Manny Pacquiao. To be honest, I wanted to see Pacquiao get the late TKO. It didn't happen. But anyway, it was a great fight. It was a great pay-per-view card. Adrian Broner let everybody down again. I hope you guys save your money and don't bet on AB again. Because I told you, if you bet your house, you're going to lose your house. I know a lot of you people are going to be homeless tonight. A lot of you guys are going to lose You lose your job. A lot of you guys are going to lose... Man, that income check money is gone. I told you not to bet on Adrian Broner. But yeah, man, Manny Pack, y'all yeah, look good. Will Big Bro come out of retirement to avenge Little Bro Laws? Which is Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao too. I don't see it. But if Big Bro come out of retirement to avenge Little Bro loss. I mean the build up is there. This fight could be bigger than what is what the first one probably was. You know Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather too. That's a big fight. I would love to see it. You know they're two older guys. But Manny Pacquiao look fresh. Now he's saying the shoulder injury isn't a problem. So there's a possibility he could sell his fight. And Manny Pacquiao could go in there and possibly beat Floyd. But will Manny Pacquiao be able to beat Floyd? Absolutely not. Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao fight 10, 10 out of 10 times. Floyd Mayweather will beat Manny Pacquiao. That's one guy I'm not going against. And that's Floyd Mayweather. He'll beat Manny Pacquiao 10 out of 10 times. Like he said in an interview, he wasn't lying. I mean, Floyd Mayweather said, God only made one thing perfect, and that's my boxing record. But do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe.